Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. Today I wanted to show a very uh, new, very simple uh, paintball uh, laser tag prop. Uh, this is uh, it's essentially just a an arm disarm uh, bomb prop. There are two LED buttons, red and green, ten LEDs. There are three green, three yellow, and four red. And it's essentially a 10 minute timer game. The power is controlled by this uh, on this uh, mountable, there's a, a mounting screw, mountable key lock. Fits in and you can turn power on and off. And uh, there's a loud siren that plugs into the board right here. And I've added the wire extensions to the LEDs so that you can make it your own. I make the electronics, you mount it however you'd like. Uh, so if I turn power on, This is the uh, essentially the uh, the unit telling you, okay, we're ready to go, we're ready to start the game. Now it's fixed at exactly 10 minutes. Now I'm going to turn out the light just for one second to show you what this looks like in the dark because I imagine it doesn't look it looks a little bit lackluster in the uh, in the light. All LEDs go on a pulse width modulation on and off three times, so they go on a cycle, and then the buttons that I'm holding in my hands right here they flash. Now when they're flashing, that's when you can start the game. Uh, just so that you can see everything, I'm going to turn the light back on and then we'll give a full demonstration. So, as you can see there was a scrolling effect of the LEDs just a second ago that's saying, okay guys, we're ready to go, the game is starting. And if you're still holding the buttons by the time that's done, all the LEDs turn off and wait for you to let go of the both buttons. So right now, you're just like, okay, well, what's going on? The, the LEDs are obviously all flashing. And uh, so I've got green, 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 green. Sorry, I meant, I meant, meant uh, four green, not four red earlier. There's four green, three yellow, and four red. So what happens is each LED signifies one minute's worth of time. So after one minute, this LED is going to stop flashing. After another minute, this LED will stop flashing. After another minute, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, all the way down to this LED. And after 10 minutes, when that LED is done blinking, what happens is if you haven't disarmed it, Mr. Siren right here will, uh, will activate. And it's a very, very loud siren. The siren is mountable. There are two mounting holes, and there's also a piece of double-sided tape on the back, which you can easily mount it to anything. The PCB, the printed circuit board, has four mounting holes, one in each corner, making it easy to mount. The buttons. Both of the buttons have a uh, uh, basically a mounting nut on them, so you can mount them. Uh, same goes for the green. And again, the the key. Sorry, I don't want to move the camera right now. The key has a nut on it, so you can mount it. However, the key is the only component that is soldered to the board, and I need to solder it to the board to test it. So if you want to mount that, you just have need to uh, desolder it and resolder it in place once you've mounted it with the uh, the nut. So as you can see first LED has stopped uh, stopped blinking so there's less than nine minutes left uh, if I want to disarm I'm not going to disarm I'll show you that in just a minute after we've gone through the entire sequence first all I have to do it's a very simple dis disarming procedure press both of these at the same time now it might seem okay well that's a little bit simple and this is essentially a guard the bomb scenario you have to uh, you have to essentially keep the enemy from getting to the bomb and pressing both buttons at the same time. Now, if you're clever, and even if you want, you can extend these uh, wires out so that the two buttons are in a far enough different spots so that you need two people to disarm them, two people to press at the same time. Now again, I'll show you that in just a minute. I'm going to skip ahead so you can see the whole the the uh, bomb prop detonate. So it's just about to uh, it's just about to detonate. The siren's going to go off. It's a very loud siren. Uh, I've got it at 9 volts right now, the powered by 9 volts, could be powered by 12 volts. Once the, the, the siren goes off, the uh, two buttons will flash, meaning I can deactivate it simply by pressing both buttons at the same time. So let's wait for it. Watch the LED buttons. They will start to flash.
And there you have it. And now it enters up into the startup sequence again saying, okay, ready to be reactivated for another game. So it's 10 minutes long. Let's look at the uh, main board. This is the power supply terminal block. Uh, there are two pins labeled V plus and GND for ground. So this is where you want to place your uh, power supply. 9 to 12 volts is optimal. Uh, I've got it powered at 9 volts right now, but it can be powered at 12 volts. Uh, no higher than 12 volts because you can burn out the siren. Uh, the rest of the circuitry is protected by a 5 volt regulator. Uh, so what you got here is essentially two solderable pads for the uh, key lock module. And that's just a power switch, so it, it applies the battery voltage from the terminal block through to the rest of the cir control circuitry. Um, this is the siren connector. Simply remove it or pop it into place. And there you have it. Right here, this is where you connect your buttons. Each button has four wires. If you want to disconnect to mount, just make sure that you, uh, you uh, note which wire is connected to uh, which pin rail. And each pin rail has you might not be might have trouble seeing it here. Uh, four labeled pins labeled L minus, L plus, B and B. Uh, L minus is the uh, negative of the button LED. L plus is the positive of the button LED, and the two B pins are essentially button pins, and those are just that those are just uh, you know when those are shorted together via the button, that's what sends the signal to the processor. And uh, these are the LED wires. I solder those into place and uh, place the LEDs in the little sockets, as you can see right there. And that allows for you to essentially mount them however you'd like to make it look, uh, just to make it look cooler. So there you have it. It's very simple, uh, easy to mount, easy to use. Very simple functionality, but it's fun. This is probably more, more for a laser tag game, but you could easily put this into a paintball, uh, a paintball suit, you know, a paintball prop, a suitcase. Yeah, it's easy to use. I've tried to customize it so that it's easy for the user. Uh, check us out at paintballprops.com. This will be up for sale very soon. Let's quickly activate it and deactivate it. So we activate it. The time starts running out, and uh, we failed to keep the enemy team from coming in and disarming the bomb. So. Let's activate it. It's alright. Wait for them to blink. And the timer starts rolling. So now, at any point, if both buttons are pressed, it deactivates. And ends off back in the startup routine. So deactivation is very simple. Again, you can extend the wires uh, to make it so that you need two people to press the button at the same time. Thanks for watching and have a great day everyone.